the origin of consent was basically based on this philosophy, which means do no harm. Dr. That Anu has asked me to the basic, talk about uh, uh, tenet, I would consent. say, or the, the foundation stone of uh, medicine. The origin of consent yes, the aim was is to do basically benefit. based on this philosophy, good, which means but do no harm. That is the at least the basic no uh, tenet, I and would that say. that is why when new the, devices the started coming in, of, and drugs uh, started medicine. coming in, the concept of yes, the aim is uh, consent to do benefit. And to it do was good, basically, but to begin with, an ethical issue. At least do to no ensure harm. that research. And that is why new when new devices started new coming devices, in, new procedures started coming in, is the safe concept for of the patient. Uh, consent came at least safe. And it was no basically benefit. to begin with and an ethical issue because every drug has to side ensure effects, that device research with problem, new molecules, new devices, be more than new the procedures benefit is safe and the for the philosophy patient. was that <coughs> at least it is our safe, responsibility no and duty and to protect the rights and the benefit side effects, effects every device may create subjects subjects is used when should not be more subjected the to a benefit research so then we call them subjects. and the philosophy was that <coughs> it is our responsibility Consent and duty can be to protect various rights uh, and the life of degrees of one is what is known subject, as an implicit implied or assumed when consent. anybody is subjected to a now when you research, go to a restaurant so we call them you order subjects. foods does the owner take a consent from you that you consent will pay the bill can be various because uh, it is implied or degrees it is assumed that one if is what is known as an implicit and implied you or assumed food, consent at the end you will pay the bill now when you go to a restaurant isn't it and you order food when you go to a does Boxing the owner match. take a consent from you that you will pay the bill? Do they take a consent that you will not get hit, you will not bleed? Because it is implied. No, they don't. It because is assumed the fact that if that you have you gone to a restaurant to and you order some food, match, at the end that you, you have given a consent that yes, some injuries, isn't it? Can and will occur, and sometimes those injuries can be dangerous match. and have proven to be fatal. Also. Do they take a consent that you will not get hit? You will not. The other is what is known as a presumed consent. The fact that you, if you are a doctor, you are sitting in a clinic and a patient walks into your means that you have given a consent that you have so many uncomfortable questions can and will occur, and sometimes young ladies can be dangerous and not be married. Have proven to be fatal. Which in a social system you won't ask. The other is what is known as a presumed consent. You have that authority because if you are a doctor, you are sitting in your clinic and a patient walks into your Room. It is presumed that you she has so given you that consent that you ask say to a young lady questions which are important in her management which point of view. In a social otherwise system, you a social ask. interaction you would not but ask. You have that authority because and similarly when we take a sample she has blood, walked into your do clinic, simple x-rays, it is presumed that she has given you that consent that the patient who has come to a hospital questions which are important from her management point of view. Which otherwise in a social interaction you would not ask. And similarly, when, when we take a sample for blood, blood then we do simple x-rays, that the patient consent. says that yes, it is I presumed that a patient who has come to a done. hospital and that is common when you want to examine has agreed uh, for these uh, uh, do an internal examination or you want to examine the breast, say for a lady, you take then a verbal next consent. Is what is the express examination kar sakta hun, that the patient hun. says that yes, I consent and the patient gives you the for consent. this to be done and, and, these and that is common when you want to examine documentation, uh, uh, do an internal but examination or you want to examine any the breast, say for a lady, you take a which can possibly do harm examination kar sakta hu, ya requires kar sakta hu. what is known as and an the patient informed gives you the consent. written consent and, and, and these we will procedures discuss that in detail. A documentation that consent. As far as biomaterial but collection of biomaterial, any, any sample which is taken from a patient, any procedure uh, which can possibly do ongoing harm, or future research is concerned, requires what there is known as an informed written consent. We used to take a generic consent, consent and we will that discuss if I have taken that the in sample detail. of a patient or preserved the tissue of a patient. As far as bio the gives the collection of okay, this can be any used sample which any is taken from a patient, either ongoing uh, or in future. Ongoing or future research is concerned. That there are two types of consent. Earlier we used to take a generic project only. If I have taken and if you want to use that material for another project, you need to have the consent again. The patient this gives the consent that okay, this can be used for any study, either ongoing or in the future. This debate, but it's more, more and in the more US, ethics committee is now much right. The patient you take a specific consent, financial benefit for that project only. And if you want to use that material for another project, you need to have the consent again. These are key components of important because if some new discovery is made from a patient sample. 
One, that this debate is informed more in the US. Some information how given by the patient has patient. on the financial I will benefits that which accrue out of the new discovery. And then the patient agrees to undergo so that these are procedure. the key components of a whether it is investigation, whether it is treatment, consent, whether it is a new one, uh, it is drug informed. Or device. That means there is some information and given by you this to the should patient. include what is the diagnosis. I will discuss that more in detail. What is your and then the patient of agrees management to undergo and little bit of details procedure. about the procedure as to what whether will be it is done. investigation. So if you want to do a number puncture, you have to tell the patient uh, the drug will be lying in this position. I will and then first give a local anesthesia, then I'll put in the diagnosis. Just as we saw there, what is your there plan some of pain, management? But don't worry, don't move. And All little bit of details about the procedure as to what will be information. So if you want to do a lumbar puncture, you have to tell the patient that what are the expected will be lying in this position. I will first give a local anesthesia, then I'll put in a needle. Just as including we saw there, there may be some pain, not but only complication, don't but move. what discomfort it may cause you, which may not, we may not classify as a complication. Information. And, and then, then you have to tell the patient the what terms, are the expected what is benefits, likelihood, that means the probability of the benefits and risks. So in common discomfort. language which at least in North Haven, not only complications, but what discomfort it may cause you, which may not, we may not classify as a complication. If the person is educated, we can even talk in terms of percentages. That what is the likelihood, that means the probability of the benefits and risks. Relative to death so common whatever. language which at least in North Haven, you India also need to tell. So I am a surgeon, every patient who comes to me, I want to operate If the person is educated, you can even but talk in terms of percentage. there is an option that the patient could be treated by endoscopy, could be treated by chemo radiotherapy. And it is my duty and responsibility to tell the patient that look, these options are there. You also need to tell, so what are the plus and minus points of Every Surgical patient who comes to me, I want to operate upon the of treatment. It is not there's an option. I just tell the patient about be surgery on so the patient comes to me and and the other And it is my duty and responsibility to tell and the patient all that look, these options has are to there. Be written and what are the plus and minus points of both patient Surgical and the as doctor? Well as other alternatives. And in case of a research, it is not that there has to be. I just tell the patient about surgery only so that the patient comes to me and has to be the other department. And all when you are doing a research or a clinical trial, you have to be signatures, little more both patient and the doctor. It's a new drug, it's a new device. And in case uh, of a research, an established there has to be a modality of treatment. And, and some more document has to be added, like dated. the purpose of research, why you are doing this trial. When you are doing a research trial, or a clinical trial, the details, then as I said, the process is little you more also detailed. have to ensure it's a new patient, drug, it's a new device, all the data will uh, rather than an established uh, it will not be on a public treatment. domain. And who will have some the access more to things data. are added, like whether the it purpose is the investigator, research, why you are doing the sponsor, trial, whether it is what is the aim of body. this trial. The patient should know. Obviously, the details, as I said, you also have to ensure to the patient that all the data as I will discuss that in some of the trials, some amount of compensation is given to the patient. But that should not be projected as the benefit of that Just for the sake of the patient should know the patient will be able to see the kind of enticed to enroll in that trial. And here, that is I will discuss that in some of the trials, some amount of compensation is given to the patient. But that should not be projected as the benefit of that If you are doing just for the sake of compensation, you are doing some extra investigations for the trial. Kind of enticed the cost and will come to the patient. For that the is only as a for by side for the, 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 the real medical number of times for follow up to the patient that has to be explained. And for example, if if you are doing and multiple follow up visits, or you are doing some extra investigations. Now, if it is a trial, new drug, you don't then know whether the cost will from come phase one and phase two. You would know what are the possible side effects. New but drug could be for travel to the new side effects or new complications for follow up. So you have to use your judgment and your past experience and even what. Can unexpected and foreseeable to tell if it is a new drug, you don't know. Also, of course, from phase and one and side effects, you would know what are the important things. Not only to the subject, it could be the patient, but new side effects, of new complications. So you it have to use your judgment the nursing and your past so experience as to what possibility can that happen, drug may be and you need to tell bill. that and document <coughs> that also. And then you also and have to tell importantly not only to the subject, what steps will be taken to prevent any what we call an adverse event that is a lactating mother. Related to nursing or a complication. So in case side effect, there is a possibility that the drug may be a ill effect of the milk. device or the procedure. And, and in then case you also have to occurs, tell and document plan is what there steps will be taken to that. prevent any 
what we also call you need to say that means a research related this new treatment new drug new device will be provided free or, any, or whether the uh, patient will have to bear the cost or the procedure will there be some and in case such a for the patient occurs, to participate in the trial and in plan some trials is there uh, to take uh, care the of regulatory that. bodies approve some also remuneration need also. to say Compensation is to cover the extra expenses, for example, drug, travel expenses will be provided for example, free, if the, or whether the patient, the will patient is coming cost, and along will with there be him some or compensation her, a relative has to cover the patient to participate in the trial. Procedure. And in some she trials, needs, uh, attention uh, after uh, the, the, the regulatory body has, has to approve some so remuneration for their travel costs. That is the compensation to cover the extra expenses, for example, travel expenses, which is not even the cost. If of, the of patient is coming and that is what is called him or her uh, relative in some trials that is because you are doing an invasive procedure and then she in needs case a major the procedure so a relative like a mortality occurs, occurs so you need to cover any liability that is the will be responsible but whether if you it is give some extra money which is not even the cost sponsor manufacturer of, of all these expenses that is what is called and whether there is an insurance in some trials that has become a very important component and then in case a major and mishap Very like a mortality occurs, even if the patient there gives any consent who will be held responsible whether he it is or she has the right institution to accept uh, sponsor at any stage of the trial uh, government and without whether there is an insurance penalty, cover, and now this so has become say, a very important you can't say, you are going to go to the hospital, 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 she will or she has the right, even if she decides to leave the trial in between, any stage of the trial, case for you without control for any you, penalty but, but that you can't say not penalize the patient to aap aap for treatment nahi karenge. no whatever due so the first component the is information to get from the system which means that you have to disclose will continue to get to provide she decides all to leave the trial in between related which means to the loss of a case for you uh, for now we are going to you, discuss more that clinical penalize so it is basically procedure uh, for which you required an informed so the first consent. component so is information whether it is which means that you have to disclose you have whether to provide is, uh, all the information uh, invasive endoscopy related to that whether surgery or whatever uh, now uh, we are interventions going to discuss you do more you clinical have to consent. provide the information so it is basically procedure and it should be uh, for which in such you required a way that the patient comprehends so you have to explain to the patient whether it is dialysis and the patient should whether it is become lumbar knowledgeable about it. that is the aim uh, invasive endoscopy you give the information but the patient has to grasp it interventions you do and you then provide the there should be enough time and for the patient to be learn in such a way that the patient comprehends it by either listening to others and the patient should so become one knowledgeable practice that we do when that we create is the a stoma that means we exterior you, you the give the information but the patient has to grasp it the prospective also. patient of a stoma and then talk to patients there should be enough time for the patient and to then learn they learn to each about other it. and this existing patient either tells listening to others more or so in a one common practice that you do when we create what is stoma, going to happen and what the life will bowel be. outside is and that then the patient should the understand patient of a and stoma then agree talk and then to patients who already had a stoma form. And, and then they talk to each other voluntary. and this means existing patient tells patient more should agree or in a better way for the new patient as to what is going to happen and what the life will be this is what is called the autonomy and then the patient should understand every individual then agree and then poor the educated not educated and this should be every individual has an autonomy means which after as all this must patient should agree rather than you and forcing him or her well to agree decision and this is what is giving it autonomy of the individual that every individual so whether information is rich, poor, has to be well educated adequate, not educated complete, every individual has an autonomy which as should doctors not try to learn to create respect. a false a rosy and picture a well considered uh, decision uh, after giving it a thought no that is not correct you have so to give information the has to be adequate and very important the communication comprehensive and has correct. to be in a language which try to you create have a to false decipher a rosy the patient picture understand nahi nahi sab theek ho jayega koi chinta ki baat nahi hum sab theek kar denge and the no, educational level correct. and the understanding you level of the patient you have correct to gauge that and then very important the your communication information has to be in a that. language which and you need you to be patient to you need to give time the patient to the will patient understand the language and as i said the terminology which you use it's not and the education will understand level, everything in one level of the patient you have may have hundreds of questions to ask and then titrate uh, your if, if he doesn't understand according to that so it has to be and a bilateral be patient. exchange you need to give time information to the patient and not just one way and like as i said you give him questions half a minute or one minute and then say the patient will understand and everything in one go he or she may have hundreds of questions to ask uh, uh, so if, if i doesn't show understand. this to you can you read so it has to be a bilateral this is in a language of information and I not just read. one way it lecture that which you given and there for a minute or one minute and then say consent that please sign this is form. a very important uh, it's not only a document 
So but if it I is a procedure, to you, it is a process. Read? And it has to be given in a language recorded in a language because then the patient has to sign. It. So it should be in a language and which the patient understands. Informed because consent signature means that you have read a very important. You have signed. Uh, it's not only a, as I said, document. It's not just a document. It is a procedure. I have to process that even in our has to be given and recorded in a language because then the patient has to sign. We just take that paper to the patient, which the patient understands. To sign because signature means that you have read without them knowing anything or understanding anything. But as I said, it's not just a document. Unfortunately, I have to admit, as you are working, even in our setup, for two reasons, you are safe. One, it is because document. you are working on we our just behalf. take that paper so anything the patient, happens and ask we will them have to sign the music. without telling them Second, anything, without even them we don't knowing face anything that music and understanding so anything. Often, but ideally, because we have the institutional umbrella protecting us. As long as you are working, as here, I said, for two I just reasons, gave you two or three you examples safe. in our ward. One, because so you are working others, on our behalf. Every ward so anything happens, similar examples, we will have to the music. These very gross, even we don't face that music so. Fortunately, Often, the institute has not we have had the too many medical umbrella medical issues us. because there is an institutional As umbrella. As I said, <laughs> I just gave you two or three examples in our ward. There are so many but others. Most of you, when you finish your term here, similar examples. In spite of it, these very gross, you are on negligent own, mistakes. You are responsible for your own actions. Fortunately, the institute has even not the administration had too many medical issues. And there is an institutional umbrella. Unfortunately, some of your own colleagues may be there waiting in the wings to pull you down. But most of you have to be very careful and cautious as far as consent process. Where you are on your own, you are responsible so if for your I own have action. A patient and Even the I administration may not come to, to your the rescue. And, and suppose this is a unfortunately some of your own colleagues may be there uh, somewhere in the wings to pull you down. Who so you have to be very very careful and cautious class, which also as far as consent process. You think he will understand these words? He will not. He doesn't even so know what the rectum is. So if I have a patient, I get this information to the patient. Means. And so suppose this is the the information has to be. Uh, this is correct. Near Barabanki, who you can't say that this information is wrong. Studied till only this class, which also correct. didn't pass. Or do you think he will understand these words? It is not. He will not. He doesn't even know what the rectum is. He will know what APR, stoma, and contact <laughs> means. Also, the information has to be to consent. This is correct. You can't say that this information is wrong. In other scenarios, especially when it's not. Uh, correct complication for occurs patient to understand uh, these are the is not uh, titrated uh, questions that <laughs> educational and understanding <laughs> level the general principle is that if a major also unexpected complication not directly occurred, related to consent then but it must be the leader of the team so in other the scenarios consent, especially when i have to be there uh, complication occurs, talk to the patient and uh, these are the, that look, uh, the uh, questions that <coughs> tell, whom to tell is a matter of general great debate. principle is that as if I a said, major autonomy of the individual is very important. So ideally, it must be it the leader of the team. The patient, if I am the consultant, I have to be sometimes there in our and talk to the patient. Socio-economic or educational look, status, we at least I find it very difficult is a matter to tell of great the debate. patient himself. As I said, self, the autonomy of the individual is very important. So ideally, I sometimes tell the closest patient himself or herself, parents. Sometimes in our brother, sister, social and, and then leave it to them status, when, how much, we, and at least uh, I find it very want difficult to, to tell the patient. patient himself or herself, where you especially when this, it is malignancy, especially when and I, as I, I sometimes tell unexpected closest major relatives, complication so spouse, occurred, it should parents, not be standing in the children, corridor or other sister, walking in the corridor and, and then the leave it to them. You should when, preferably how much call the patient and, uh, or what the they want to inform to the patient. They can sit, they can be comfortable. Where you do this, if it is a especially when a, uh, as, as I said, an of unexpected major complication has occurred, after they have be settled, standing in the corridor or it in, walking in the corridor, a or place the where they're you should privacy call the patient or the relatives not to a in front of where they so many can other sit, people. they can be comfortable. If it is a so there is this word called mansplaining, which is that and man talks they have settled. Then you a language or an in tone which a kind of where puts the human down. This is a well accepted is word, respected, and, and then not in front on, on of so the uh, basis of this, somebody has coined a term called talk explaining. So there is this word called mansplaining, which is that if we are on a high pedestal and the patient is somewhere here. A language or a tone, no, which chalo, kind of puts the human down, this is no. a well accepted word. And then, on, on that the, is what the is basis of this, somebody has coined a term called to talksplaining. Avoid it. When we talk we, to the patient, we, we talk as if we are on a higher pedestal and the patient is somewhere here. Autonomy and the position of the patient. No, no, this is not to do it. Let's go, you don't understand. Again, same thing that... One should avoid a patronizing attitude. That is what is called You appear as if you are kind and friendly. But you Avoid have a it. sense of superiority we, we and have make the other person feel as if individuality is inferior on me or and the position of the patient. Small.
because of your arrogance. And, and again, that same thing be that avoided. one should avoid a patronizing attitude. So that you, you appear as if informed, you are kind and friendly, but not only information is given, it is comprehended and understood. Feel as if he and or it she is, is inferior. If there are any doubts in the mind of the patient, there is an opportunity to your clear arrogance. And, those and that doubts should be by avoided. asking questions from you, by going to the internet, so by talking the to the family and friends. Informed. And it is not only information is given, it is comprehended After and understood. After considering all this, then the and patient is, comes back to you If there are any says, doubts yes, in the mind of the patient, and there is an is opportunity to clear those doubts not by asking by questions force. from you, by going to the internet, decision. by talking to the so family and friends. Again, the autonomy of and the patient. It is the patient has the right to take the, the decision. After considering to all this, he or she then the patient comes back to you and says, yes, I agree. And it is out of willingness. Procedure. Not As I said, force. most of these concepts came from uh, research reason, trials, decision. but to a so great extent, they are applicable the autonomy of clinical medicine. The patient also. has the right to take the decision so as to whether a very important he or she component of consent is voluntary investigation. It means it has to come from the or, patient uh, procedure, and you As have I said, to ensure most that of these concepts came from research trials. But to a great extent, they are applicable to clinical medicine. If you don't do it, then there will be no hospital treatment. So, very important component of consent is voluntary. As I said. There should be no undue from the patient. Compensation, especially in a research trial, have to ensure that there is no undue inflation or inflation. You should not say that if you don't do this, then you will not go to this hospital treatment. Then you will go to undue enticement. That's not the correct approach. And there should be no pressure. There should be no undue. कि नहीं नहीं अगर करना है तो अभी कर दो नहीं तो कल तो फिर मैं मेरे पास टाइम है और इवन इन क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस के अच्छा आप ये करेंगे तो हम आपका सीटी फ्री में आएंगे और नहीं करोगे तब नहीं देर इस नो दैट दैट ट्रेड ऑल्सो हार्मिंग द पेशेंट आइसमेंट अ पनिशमेंट गिवन टू द पेशेंट on the no, part of the patient, patient wants time, we know compulsion time. To, to and so, as I said, so there is many no of these things apply more threat of harming the patient, participating in a punishment given to the patient rather the patient than refuses to give the consent. And again, another important uh, point in a financial restraint is on the part you of the patient, it should be no trial is the, to, to the consent so process. Said, is an ongoing process. These things apply a continuous process because, or subjects especially with new drugs and devices, while the study is in progress, a lot of things change. So, for example, Another if it is a multi-center trial, research trial AIDS also was using, whenever you using the same drug and they encountered uh, that this drug, is, although it was not the consent to process is an ongoing process. It resulted it's a in continuous process in because, and they especially with new drugs and devices, while the study is in progress, a lot of things change. Centers. So, for example, if it is a multi-center trial, you have to change your consent form also was using, because this new using the same drug, and they encountered that this drug, found although it was not progress of the study, toxicity, so it all these amendments and changes in have to be informed and to they the ethics this, committee because it is mandatory. And a new consent form to has to be devised, and, and the patient centers. should now sign a new consent form. Now, you even have to a change patient your consent who was part, already taking because part, this new complication has been has to sign the new consent form. Progress of the study, he or she decides that all these amendments and changes have to be informed to the ethics committee. The patient and a new right consent form has to be devised, and the patient out, should now any sign a new consent with no form. Loss of Even a patient who was part of the taking part medical attention uh, has to, to sign the, the new subject. consent form. And if now he or she decides that no, no, because of this risk, again, of because it is a written document, I don't want to continue. It is patient has the right <coughs> important that the document must be drop out. Unfortunately, any stage, if anyone knows, no loss to do this study, it will be a good study. Benefit in if terms you pick of up medical the consent forms that we have uh, in this hospital, I, I, I think more than 90% of them will be found to be grossly again because it is a written document. It is. So this is the condition important in that the premier teaching is. Unfortunately, what would be happening at if you want to do this study? It will be a good study. Imagine if you pick up the, the minimums that, that we have there on the hospital. I, I, I think more than ninety percent of them will the be found to be the diagnosis, the intended planned procedure. Who is so going to do that? If this is the condition in the name of the premier teaching institution, what would be happening at secondary and primary level? And in a research trial. It is mandatory the minimum that, that has to be there on the consent form signed, the patient's details, consent form, complete the diagnosis, the, the intended the planned also. procedure. Who is going to do that procedure? The name of the patient. Both have to sign. So how does the patient take a voluntary and in a research trial? It is mandatory that you decision. give a copy of the, the signed, have dated the consent form, complete form to the patient or the subject also. Based on uh, understanding, based on <coughs> hearing and reading capacity, based on so intelligence, based on educational level. So how does the patient take a voluntary, considered, the mental state of the patient decision. should be sound. The patient should the have patient the capacity, should be capable. capable. 
and should have the capacity based on, uh, to take an intelligent, considered decision after taking into account all the pros and cons of the educational level intervention. And the mental so status of the patient should be sound. Children, that the patient the should be legal age, so in capable. India it's 18 and should have the capacity case, to take an intelligent considered decision after and taking I into account all the pros and cons of some the of these intended concepts actually come from the US where both so what parents are special situations may not be children in the interest of the who child are below the legal age so maybe a conflict may not be the biological in parents that case, of the child one may be biological the other may not be so and it comes from there parents. but now this, this is, is what some is, of these uh, concepts uh, actually come from the US we and in addition to the may parents' not be permission, because consent is given only by the individual who is going procedure. Maybe at conflict, so that is why it is not called, may not be the biological called permission. Of the Patients give you permission to do this on their be. child. So uh, it, it comes it from said, there, but it, even the child's what is, assent uh, uh, has to be suggested. Given. Not permission, and but child in addition has to, to the so suppose you want to permission, do a number because consent is given only by the individual who is going procedure. That is why it is not called consent. I also don't have an idea how it works in the US. Patients give you permission to do this on their child. Practiced in the US, and it is said, and in the US there is. Special category of what they call emancipated has to children. Not permission, but uh, child has so to agree. Children so children who are serving in military, do a lumbar puncture, those who are married, the child has so to agree. In, no, I don't, not happen in I, India I because don't have an idea how it works in the US, in India but legally, what uh, is practiced who are in the mothers, US. They may be child, and in the US, US there is a special again, category of what they call emancipated and children, those who are financially independent. So some of these things may not apply in our, those who are married, of course, that and then of course they are not vulnerable in India because like those with learning disabilities in India legally, and those who are under effect girls of who are mother, drugs, especially child, but they are mother, emergency or that trauma. is unlikely. So in these cases, those who are financially independent, decision, so some of these things may not apply in our or a legally appointed. <laughs> And then, of course, there are vulnerable groups like those with decision. learning disabilities. And in case of pregnant and women, women who are under effect of alcohol or drugs, it is something to do with the emergency fetus. or trauma. Then, so in these cases, father a and surrogate mother, I mean, decision wife and husband which is, is a parent required. or a legally appointed <coughs> decision maker. Some special he or situations can so take the decision. And in case of pregnant women, especially if it is something to do with the fetus, he also has COPD, consent of both diabetes and mother, and the wife and husband, multiple other comorbidities. But the surgery is essential. Now we know that this patient has very high risk. So if it is may even die on the say a 90 year old gentleman who has what is called a DOT or a coronary stenting, and then bypass. When we create a stoma, he has to be a special consent. Diabetes. When and you anticipate that it is normal or not, but the surgery is essential. Procedure. We know that this patient has been very high risk. If there is a large colonic growth, we may have to remove the kidney. Procedure. But it is not called a DOT or a high risk consent. So if you have an when we create a stoma, normal it has to be a special consent removal because of when you achieving an R0 resection, a normal organ may be resented. For example, in prevention procedures on pancreas, sometimes clean has to be removed. If there is a large colonic growth, we may have to remove the kidney, but it has to be converted to an open operation. So if you have an anticipation that a normal organ may be removed, a change in plan, we were planning to do a a special uh, colonic resection, uh, special but it is possible that we may have to do a multi resection. And these days we do a lot of procedures laparoscopically, so the possibility that it may have to be converted to an change. open operation, so an anticipated and change in plan, uh, also especially in malignancy, a change in, in plan. So we were planning so to do a, doesn't come only a colonic resection, but it is possible that we may have to do a multi procedure. Or we were planning to do a bigger there operation. There are certain very special situations when there is a waiver from an anticipated change in plan without uh, also taking the should consent be included also in, the in good form faith. so that you feel doesn't complain wait for the consent, told me that you time will be lost but now you there could be harm procedure. to the patient so a life saving emergency there are certain very uh, special situations in the intravenous bleed and i know that the screen is ruptured without this was a young man who was driving a bike in good faith now we can't you feel raise the relative or even if you can raise time will be lost at least there could be harm to the patient so a life saving emergency i have to take patient who comes out to save the life of this in so, in such a situation, and I know that the spleen is ruptured, not and this was a young man who was driving a bike. It's not available now. It's not can't necessary. Trace but the relatives, or even if you can the trace, they will take you could not, and you did come. not take There's a no person. time. Very I have clearly. to rush in. I have to and take that spleen out to save the life of this harm young man. So, for so, example, in such a situation, which if you don't repair in time in the limb. It may is not, not available, available. It's not gangly, necessary, and may require you must amputation. There is the reason it now why the possibility that the limb did not take us. So again, the same situation that you don't have to wait for the relatives to come and give the consent. Harm will occur. In such so situations, example, it is better that you call one or two of your colleagues, unrelated, who are not going to be involved. 
because they obviously the, whatever the simplification we may do research, our language still our, remains our technical for example in especially in multinational research especially one in consent form is uh, devised social economic and then and it is translated into different, different languages and so translation may be inaccurate these terms and what it wanted to convey may not be correct they we, and the so translation social factors in, in like the research hierarchy uh, uh, in our for example society, in especially in multinational research one the consent family, form is devised uh, uh, and then earning members are treated in different language earning members so translation so may be inaccurate uh, religious what beliefs wanted to convey may not be correct uh, have uh, beliefs which uh, and so many social factors uh, like the hierarchy overcome so so many society, things which come in the way men versus of women consent family but Uh, we uh, earning have to member be aware of them. And we have earning to member. take care of them. So many other uh, religious beliefs and lot of time financial uh, issues. Have you, you beliefs which think that uh, uh, you can't uh, expensive kind of, investigation uh, would help the patient, but the patient so, so many things afford. which come in so the way of uh, informed compromise on the treatment. But, but whenever such a situation arises, I would suggest try to take so care if you wanted to do a CT, but patient says that doctor has a lot of time financial issues. You you but you think CT is essential? So you must expensive investigation would help the patient. The plan was to get a CT done today. So you have find out this compromise if the patient has financial issues. Whenever such a situation arises, I would suggest. And so if you wanted to do a CT, but patient says that doctor has to pay so that tomorrow the patient will come back. But you think CT is essential? 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 You think CT is You can prevent venous thrombosis by giving prophylaxis. But in now the relatives came back and said, "You have no prophylaxis." So in one case, doctor said, "Doctor, doctor so ask your relatives." But there is no documentation. That should I give prophylaxis? What is the risk of bleeding? They refused. What is not documented did not happen. And the patient died of pulmonary. So what is not there in the records? Now the relatives came back and said, "You have no prophylaxis. Doesn't exist." Doctor said, "You might have spent half an hour with the relatives." There is no document talking to them. About what is documented? If it is not there in the records, what is not documented exists in the eyes of the law. So what is not there in the records? Also, if we give too much information, it does doesn't happen. exist. Any time they get scared of it, you might have spent half an hour with the relatives and talking to them. They may refuse about a good something, but if it is not there in the, the records, the second best option is an easier eyes of the law. Example I gave surgery versus endoscopy. If today I also, also told if we give too much there is a surgical and endoscopic option, it does happen. I would probably go more towards the endoscopic, non-surgical, <laughs> or a drug option. And they may refuse. So sometimes, good treatment unintentionally, the patient the, may take a wrong decision. The second decision. best option is an easier. And option. if that so happens, again, example I gave surgery versus endoscopy. What is known as the best? It is called against medical advice. There is a surgical and endoscopic option. I would you probably go more towards the endoscopic, non-patient did not agree. <laughs> so I am not now offering so sometimes the next best option. Unintentionally, the patient may take a wrong decision. And, and if that happens, if you have a very rosy document, then they may get known as in the West and is called against medical advice. advice there is a form, so that is you have a document that I gave this advice, but patient did not agree. So I am not now exploitation of next best option. This has happened in our country. That also must be documented. Some other countries also, and which is done. Sometimes when we create a very rosy picture, one good example of a consent is that in in India, which probably is not good, parent cannot refuse the vaccination. And in research, there is a lot of misuse. Vaccination is exploitation of patients. A lot of parents has happened in our country. Some other countries also. Now, it which is done harms the society because okay. one good example of such a child is that disease in, in, in India, disease which spreads from the community, parent cannot refuse vaccination, giving causing harm to the society. But, but they are the best autonomy laws are so stringent. Do not get it gives autonomy to that extent that parents can even refuse the society for their child. If such a child develops a disease and it is a disease which spreads in the community, and They are giving, so again, causing harm to the, the society. The basic but they are principle of autonomy laws, laws are so that the rights and that the safety and well-being of the subject that parents in relation to the clinical research, research is above their child and uh, should uh, prevail over the very debatable issues. You can't right say that science right. will benefit or society will benefit. So I, so I can do this research. The, the basic the principle no, of consent was that the rights and the safety and well-being of the subject in relation to clinical research is above are the pillars and should prevail over the hospital the resident society you can't say that science will benefit or you must society perform. will benefit you must so do. i i can do this research which will harm this because subject. that is no, what that cannot be done helps the patient you are doing it for patient's good and therefore it is very important for you also because form you, so you are the pillars of any hospital the residents 
and you must document. you must perform you must do and whatever what you are supposed document, to do because that is what that document so help go the out of this umbrella of patients good please follow this but okay. yes you, you do also to inform. help the patient so whenever you do something tell them keep informing if you the tell them adequately and you must even if this have occurred the chances that a case will be filed whatever against you document are very very you must low. preserve the you document keep so the channel out of this umbrella open. Please follow. Even this, if a case is filed, yes, if you, you do document to help the and patient, and produce that but document in the court of law. If you tell the them that the case will be decided, even if this happens, the chances that a case will be, will be, very, very case will be filed against so what you do are very, very low. helps the patient you keep the channel of communication safe. open. Even if a case is filed, if you document and, if and you can produce that document, document in the court of law, the chances you that the case will be decided against you facts, very, very thought. Low. Discussion. So, so what you do, as I said, helps the patient. Do a CT. What you document, we'll even if it me. was not done, you must document it. And if you take an opinion from a peer, from other specialty, you must, you must document, document everything. It should not be. Facts, ECG dikha diya, usne bola, thought, hai. No discussion. Document. So thought, if he, as I said, right, you you right. To do a CT. I showed the ECG to so and so. Even if it was not bind, done, you must document. This it. is correct. Because the dispute is not between you and him. If you take an then, opinion then from a peer, others, it is from other specialty, you, you must document it. Patient. It should not be, ki so you must bola, document. No, everything document. Document. you document. If he is no does harm, not write, you write. I showed the ECG to so and so, and, and has now gone to the other extreme. So, in the US, a resident spends more time in documenting than he or she spends with the patient. Then when the dispute occurs, it is all of you versus the patient. Last, so you must. So all this document. is to help you. Everything I know that your primary no aim is to pass your MDM or MCH exam. And unfortunately, it so has this now is the book which I have experienced. It's primary the for uh, resident surgery residents, but there are few chapters which are he or she is capable or which can be which is also not any resident in any specialty how to answer questions last. in the practical so all exam. All this is to help you. If you want those chapters, I know that your primary aim is to pass your MDM or MCH exam. I'll send you those preliminary chapters. So this is the book which I have written, which is primarily for surgery residents, but there are few chapters which are. Very capable, or which can be of use any to examples any resident in any specialty. How to answer based. questions in the practical during exam? During if you want those chapters, process. send me a mail. vkkapoor.india@gmail.com. Anyone? I'll send you those preliminary chapters. Surgical residents, Thank you very much. especially those with procedures. Questions? Yes. Queries? Any examples of problems you faced during communication during consent process? Anyone? Surgical residents especially, those who do procedures, yes.